The past week of my life has been one of the most beautiful and not just because of where I've been but because of who I've been experiencing these places with. My sweet sisters show up for me in every way I didn't even know was possible and I learned so much just from being in their presence and also with experiencing a completely new world. I feel once again expanded beyond my own comprehension and forever altered in my ability to trust people in life. Chloe tells me I'll get used to feeling worthy of love, but I don't think I will. It still just keeps blowing my mind. All throughout my practice, there was this Italian ballad playing that was so dramatic and it was so nice to stretch to. It's about 11 a.m. All of my friends are sleeping, which I'm very envious of because we've been going to sleep around midnight to 3 or 4 a.m. And I cannot for the life of me actually sleep in because when the sun is out, I just need to get moving. So I'm finishing up my morning routine, I'm gonna shower and then take a stroll on the streets of Turkey. We are in Galata right now, and my friend Rank is here to kind of show us all around. I'm here with two other sisters from home that just wanted to experience her hometown, and we'll be traveling along the coast this week, so let's journey through Turkey together. Thank you for being here. Nice tiles in a bathroom are one of my favorite things in the world. Like these, when I walk into intentional spaces, a nice kitchen, a nice bathroom, it does something to me. My skin is so sensitive, I popped a tiny little blackhead and it went seamlessly, but the marks of my fingers popping it are what created this little scar, scab thing. I have like rice paper skin. It's just a good reminder to just not touch anything. On my way to this costume shop where this ex dancer ballerina seamstress makes beautiful costumes. She was so sweet, so cute, and so talented. I want to know your life story. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a long time. No pressure. <laughs> you know, I feel myself like nothing I do is mine actually. I'm a pipeline. It just gives and I'm just living and it's like, you know, it's just passing over me kind of mm. stuff. And I like it because once you uh, accept that you don't have anything but everything is yours, it's perfect. I'm back home and all of my friends are at a drum lesson. I was going to go but I didn't have service and I got wrapped up in conversation with my dear friend Gaia. So I'm just going to do my laundry and take care of my inner space, do some emails and all of us have actually just been getting along so well. and. We're all just homies and it's really nice to travel with people who you're so compatible with, who are independent, emotionally intelligent, because you can always get the space that you need. So it's not like I haven't had time that I've wanted alone, but I think we're going out tonight and partying, which is so exciting that I'm in a life cycle right now and people are showing up who want to dance. And I feel like I don't really, party in the traditional sense. I mean, I haven't since high school, you know, getting drunk. I just go with people who are sober and we just dance and it's so fun. And um, you can just meet so many fun people. And I feel like some of you might be watching this and being like, wow, making friends all over wherever you go. How does that work? And I also am like, wow, I, there's so much ease in relating to people right now. And I think that because I've done inner work and know myself to a certain extent, I'm meeting people from this place of home and safety inside. And it's like this very subtle, unspoken energy, especially connecting with people who are spiritual or open to this kind of dialogue. It's so 
effortless when you are in the deep listening yourself to meet other people you can just feel that resonance and spirituality looks so different to everyone it's not something that can be worn or proven it's literally an embodiment and you can feel that in people this is one of the dresses that i got from her <laughs> the strap lace had just come undone a bit so it wasn't that big of a fix but wearing some thrifted jewelry. I'm not in my moment. I'm like so oily right now, but I just wanted to show you. with us. Doing research and such at 5 a.m. This girly thing. <laughs> After dancing for like six hours straight. <laughs> no, I just love that we all resonate with the with hanging the out and having like a whole day taken away from our lives. Yeah, like <laughs> take the day. Not yeah. doing anything with it anyway. <laughs> I was not expecting the tenderness that took place this afternoon, but I walked into this hammam and it felt like heaven. There was a hot marble slab with naked women just basking underneath sunlight that shined through star-shaped holes in the ceiling. And these aunties mothered us for the afternoon, pouring bowl after bowl of warm water over our heads and scrubbed our bodies clean. We made them laugh and I feel like we all just fell in love with each other. I genuinely felt so high and also like it's so easy to love people by being kind and providing some experience of warmth. <laughs> and then a lot of just like super like, you know, just arced by this experience like completely <laughs> different than who he was like, you know, 20 minutes ago. Oh just God. sits down next to me and he's just like, your turn. <laughs> I love our little coffee shop um, session. Yeah. You guys do more for me than my therapist. We're on another party bus this morning. <laughs> Going from Galatas to the airport to Dolomai. I'm sucking on ice because my throat is dry and vibes are high. <laughs> vibes are maximum. For 6 a.m. I just think it's been really satisfying or like, I don't.
Mediterranean coast and I feel really emotional. I have spent the past four days-ish in the city and even when I was in Paris, I would go to the park pretty much every day, get my feet on the earth, breathe deeply, feel the elements and I haven't done that the past four days. And there's been a lot of energies around me and a lot of movement and so I just feel like I'm just wanting to make love to the elements right now and just so emotional like returning home to my mother and it's wild because it's only been four days oh i'm just so grateful to be here it's gorgeous and i'm just surrounded by love i'm so excited to get on my mat today and it feels extra vital to prioritize when i am moving around so much and so i'm going to just get on my yoga mat right now and just breathe and be i feel like i've just been having such a beautiful opportunity to look at myself and when you're traveling and confronting so many new situations you really get to be with your responses or your desire for comfort or your attachments or even being in a beautiful place and thinking about a future moment is so revealing to the mind's constant attachment to longing I'm feeling just very soft very naked and bare and really just gonna dissolve into nature and my friend rank and i are hosting a little meetup this week which i'm really excited about i wanted to do one in paris but i didn't end up having time so we're just gonna do some movement some vocal toning and just have some jams i think as you get older you just really appreciate people knowing what they need knowing their boundaries knowing how to love people at their fullest which sometimes looks like giving space and being in silence together that's a huge one for me like the intimacy of complete silence. So yeah, I am just really grateful for the tiny little tools that I get to use every single day. And when you're traveling and surrounded by people all the time, you do get the opportunity to use them. And then I just, I see them and I feel so much gratitude for the fact that I know how to be an ally to myself. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Also, my voice is still recovering from that night of dancing. We are in a small town, therefore there aren't many food options nearby. So we're driving further back to find some produce. I know that I wouldn't be able to do this without Rink speaking Turkish and communicating with people on the regular. fresh heirloom tomatoes. You know how I feel about my fresh tomatoes. And then I just added sumac, paprika, cumin, salt, pepper, pretty much the bare minimum of what we had. And then I have my vegan cheese. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat that with more tomatoes and crackers. And to be honest, I kind of OD'd on fruit and bread. So taking a little break from that, but I'm really excited. These are yummy quinoa crisps that I love.
the spot where we're doing some movement and vocal toning and <laughs> it's just us right now it's so beautiful this place is called yuka and i will have it down below they just opened up and we're just gonna ground burning some incense getting everything ready to embrace and hold space for you sweet angels i'm excited <laughs> yeah, just like casually leaning it or whatever <laughs> Kind of closed our ceremony, but this angel travels, journeys to come and pray and sing together, and I'm so grateful. Me too. I won't come out. I won't come out because it's private. And this wraps up my first week or so in Turkey. I feel so silly for not knowing all of this magic and beauty existed here. This feels like another place that I could come back and live for a year straight doing my sabbatical. I have completely fallen in love with the culture, the people, the music, the food, and even more so with my friends. Thank you for watching these days of my life. I'm really grateful that you've been able to see so many shifts and transitions up until this point where I get to experience moments like these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Such a coin